up guys? My buddy Ryan brought me out to film a video on how to learn suicides and he's gonna go ahead and try to learn them. Um, I'm from the channel Aired BMX and suicides are definitely one of my favorite tricks. I'd recommend shin guards and knee pads, but maybe that's just because I don't like messing up my shins, especially because I have metal pedals. Regardless, I'd always recommend shin pads, knee guards, and helmet. Ryan's gonna be learning this on a BMX, but I mean, I learned them on a BMX too, but now I'm on the dirt jumper, which actually makes them maybe a little bit easier just because the seat's a little easier to pinch. Tricks to learn before you do this um, that would probably help. You could do anything just taking your hands off. So if you can do a tuck no hander, if you can do a toboggan, a bar spin, anything with taking your hands off is going to help you know how to do this. And those are obviously all a little bit easier to, easier to learn and they can help you get more comfortable taking your hands off because that's the scariest part of this trick is you're completely taking your hands off and the only thing holding you onto your bike is your seat. So I definitely recommend a fly out. That's the easiest place to do it for me. Just a quarter pipe to a nice little flat spot. Depending on the radius of your quarter pipe, I'd say four or five feet just to give you a little bit more time. The main key for suicides is like I said, you're gonna have that fly out and whenever you come out, you're gonna level out. If you can already do bar spins, get to the exact same position. What I do is I drop my heel on my front foot and pinch my heel and then drop my toe on my back foot and pinch that in. And what that does is that makes you pinch your seat with your calves, or in this case, it's kind of my knees on this one because it's a slightly bigger bike. Whenever you do that, that'll kind of lock your bike into where it's not gonna get away from you. And then literally all you're gonna wanna do is throw your hands out. So when I mentioned that bar spin position, you want your head straight over your stem. And that goes the same for a dirt jumper, a BMX bike, a mountain bike, whatever you wanna do it on. You just gotta make sure you're in that position because if you do it and you're standing straight up, your bike's gonna fly away. From you. And if you're way over here, you're gonna go nose heavy and it's not gonna be fun. I do it in progressions. If you don't know how to do bar spins and you're not used to taking your hands off the bars, just start with little things like just take one hand off and then the other hand off and then eventually kind of grow it and then start throwing it more and more until you get it to the full suicide. The main thing is, is whenever you go up and you get into the suicide or bar spin position, you wanna have your butt kind of out over your back tire and your head should be pretty much directly over your stem. And I kind of look down right at my stem or my front tire or something and then throw, throw your hands out. That way you can see exactly where your bars are because sometimes you will throw suicide whether it's windy or you just take your hands off a little goofy and it'll turn sometimes and you just gotta be ready for that. So you wanna look at your bars whenever you're going to put your hands back on. Don't take one hand off before the other because if you do that, your bars, if you take one hand off first, your bars either gonna turn one way or the other. You wanna take them off both at the exact same time. Once you get it fly out, that would be definitely the first place I'd recommend doing it. And then if you wanna get more comfortable with it, I'd take it to like a bank, or maybe a dirt jump. I'd recommend something kind of mellow at first just because due to the nature of the trick, most people kind of want to tend to lean back just a little bit. I've never seen somebody whose instinct is to lean forward just because if you learn to fly out, that's kind of what you get used to. And then you're just going to have to lean a tiny bit more forward to dip your nose in if you're landing on a dirt jump on a bank. Obviously, you want to lean a little bit further back just because you're going to have to get that hop in. And then you want to land either both tires or back tire just a little bit before variations of it there is there's quite a few some people are right, some some people like to throw flare into theirs they like to do a little clap or something like that i prefer just straight out like this i don't like to take my hands kind of back and down it, it just kind of throws me off that i don't know isn't really the way i like to do it but you could throw them more up you can throw them a little bit more down i prefer just straight out to the side that's how i've learned them that's how i've always liked to do them one other variation that's definitely my favorite if you know how to bar spin you know how to suicide you can do my favorite trick which is a suicide bar spin. And all you have to do for that is, I just throw my throw with these two fingers, it's just a slow bar spin, and you throw your hands all the way back like you would a suicide, and you bring it back and catch it. For that, you're just gonna want a slightly bigger jump to give yourself a little bit more time. If y'all have any questions about it, go ahead and leave a comment for Ryan. If I see it, I'll come over there and try to answer some questions. With all that said, let's go see if Ryan can learn how to do some suicides. Yeah. Just gonna go out and do like a couple pinches, get comfortable with that, and then try to work my way up. All right, I'm ready to try it. Let's do it. Just throw it. You're gonna be fine. They're easier than bar spins. Okay, way longer. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. 
I feel like I'm pinching it. I'm too far back. Yep. I'm not pushing at all. Just get your, bend your chest over your, over the front of your bike. There. That was it. And I just take the hands off. Yep. How's up? Go, go sideways. Gotta lean forward more. I'm not pitching. You're not leaning forward. Okay. That's better. You, you know, I felt like I could have thrown him off more. Alright, I was taking this flannel off. And then it's hands right. off time. Alright. I try to throw them off. Triple on Instagram. I like to Okay. I was kind of in. It's kind of in. Leo! You just did a suicide. Woo! Alright, I feel like I should do a couple more. So having just learned this, I'll say the biggest thing for me was uh, making sure I really got my chest over the bike, which Brian kept telling me to do. So I really just listened to what he said. Uh, try to like go out and like pushing the bike to level out a little, pushing it down and just getting my chest over it to where when I would do it, I wouldn't be all like lean back. Uh, they're definitely not as pretty as, as Brian's, but we're working on them and we'll get Different them. Different style. Good, but, just as good. I want to learn how to do it hot now, but uh, yeah, if you like the video, uh, you like mountain bike stuff or other how-tos. He has all kinds of uh, videos on his channel, Aired BMX, soon to maybe be a different name. We'll see. We'll see. Because uh, it's a lot of mountain bike content now. But uh, yeah, definitely go check out Brian's channel. He'll be in the description and on the little end card. So uh, yeah, anything else? That's it. Have fun learning them. They're yeah. easy. <laughs>